This is Aaron Rice here with Maryland Luxury Solutions. I brought Myra Frazier, attorney at law, back to our offices to talk about foreclosures. Is it a safe time to buy? Myra, there's been a whole bunch of foreclosure freezes and foreclosure moratoriums and robo-signing and oh my gracious, what do we do? What should a buyer be aware of in today's market when looking at a foreclosure? Aaron, you've raised some excellent points. Uh, there is a great deal of uncertainty now uh, as to the foreclosure process. Uh, you raised the point of the, the robo signings. Uh, there have been actually there's been litigation uh, whether uh, something a document that's been robo signed has been adequately reviewed. Uh, once that occurs, and if the bank does take possession, can a purchaser be certain that the uh, foreclosure process uh, was uh, handled appropriately and that there would not be additional complexity or problems if one were to purchase such? A property. Uh, these are important risks that any purchaser of a foreclosure property uh, needs to consider. However, uh, what we can take comfort in is that the moratoriums and then also the additional scrutiny uh, that the robo signing issue has brought to uh, this matter is giving us actually some certainty. One, banks have quickly put in place uh, procedures to review uh, uh, the robo signing procedures to now make sure uh, documents that uh, are uh, used in the foreclosure process have been properly reviewed and the loss mitigation process is complete. Uh, two, uh, banks do uh, their own due diligence uh, even after the uh, sale is completed. Uh, there in the state of Maryland we have uh, a 45 day exception period uh, that generally does give people an opportunity uh, to uh, make sure uh, that claims are raised uh, before uh, the uh, sale is deemed ratified. There is a very small window but the those do give uh, give us uh, uh, additional assurances. So, so then, so that me as an agent representing you know you the buyer, uh, all of you buyers out there that are looking for luxury short sales and luxury bank owned properties at wholesale prices, if I'm representing a buyer, I should probably be you know making sure that the the deed has been processed and the bank actually has title to the property. That's correct. Uh, because these loans have been sold over and over again. And if I've got a buyer writing on a house and, and the seller or listing agent can't prove that that bank actually owns the property, we could have a problem, couldn't we? Absolutely. And this is why the need for competent legal counsel uh, in uh, a short sale transaction is extremely important uh, because of the additional complexity and risk associated with buying. And a bank owned property. Absolutely. In well. a bank owned property, and certainly a property uh, that one would attempt to buy at a courthouse. Uh, these are all uh, additional risk levels. Uh, that are normally not associated uh, with healthy real estate trans transactions. Uh, so competent legal counsel is important. Boy, I'm so glad that you're a part of our team, Myra. Give everyone your contact information one more time. Sure. My email is Myra Frazier, that's M-Y-R-A-F-R-A-Z-I-E-R-6-8 -E at AOL.com, and I'm also available on social media. Okay, great. And give your email out one more time, just a little bit slower. Uh, that's Myra Frazier, that's M-Y-R-A-F-R-A-Z-I-E-R 68 at AOL.com. Thank you so much for coming in and, and sharing with us, Myra. If we needed to come back a little bit later, would you be happy to do that? I'd be delighted to. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much.